type of video. Why is Japan's work culture so outdated? I'm not sure if I'm going to watch the entire thing. I just want to see a couple talking points from different people that exist in Japan because this kind of topic, I know it's not really anime, but it's stuff that like resonates with me. Please let me know. No. Like, how could you be happy about Japan's work culture? How? You're being worked to death, working 25 hour days. You get paid shit. You go home. You can't even go home. The, the bosses make you drag out to bars and you drink all night. Then you fucking sleep on a park bench and you get back to work. Like, it's just, how could you possibly be happy about this work culture? You were literal livestock. You were fodder being fed into this grinding system called capitalism. No single individual has any freedom. They have an illusion called freedom by being paid a paycheck that allows them to fucking pay their fucking rent, which probably cost them more than their fucking uh, half their paycheck, bro, just to survive in Tokyo. But like, how could you possibly be happy with this? I'd love to hear some talking points. 10 p.m. And you know, you know that like they work till 10 p.m., but they don't start at 9 a.m. They probably start way earlier. And not even that. You, pr you probably have to wake up so early because rent is so expensive in Tokyo. So you need to live in some other area that's far away. So you need to do like two hour commute every single day. And two hours probably just one way. Two hours back home too, bro. <laughs> Hell no, it's not good. Oh, come on. Come on, Unk. Don't fucking lie to me. I'm going to skip uh, at a certain point. I think I'll end the video. I don't know if he's the last person. I probably won't watch every single thing. Uh, who knows? But like, I want to hear this guy's take. I want to hear like the old people's take because they've probably been like mentally warped into thinking in order to cope with their lives that this is a good thing. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi. So today I'm gonna interview Japanese salaryman. Do you enjoy your work? Do you actually enjoy your life? No. Okay, let's get started. Well, then the only person that'll say that they enjoy their life, they enjoy their work, is the fucking boss that's checking off the fucking paychecks. That's not even probably in office. They're probably in Hawaii on vacation. How could any single fucking rank and file employee feel proud and happy that they're a fucking cog in the wheel? And let us explain. と、22歳不動産業です。オッケー。年齢は22歳で、IT関係です。23歳、ま、建築関係の。ゲゲチャ。23歳で、他公務員やってます。お、23歳で、今営業やってます。31歳で、え、コンサル業です。42歳の不動
then the likelihood of you getting a job immediately is a little to none, by the way. Especially in a competitive society like Japan. It takes so much fucking time. But to get a job immediately and start working and make that much money between like $20,000 USD? Yeah, it's probably slightly above average because everyone else is working like convenience store jobs, other like minimum wage jobs because they can't just get like that big boy job that they went to school for because guess what? Capitalism and life is a fucking scam. Exactly. You live with your parents. Like, that's such a blessed thing to have. To be able to live with your parents right now in this current age, I am more jealous of those people because like, I live in Vancouver, and I'm from Vancouver Island. It's a two separate, you know, places. You got to take a fucking ship to go to Vancouver and vice versa. And I have a lot of friends in Vancouver that obviously can live with their parents while have their big boy job. And to be able to, they, they, some of them don't pay like market rate rents because they live with their parents, but they'll kind of help out. But even if they help out, the money that you save gets you so much fucking further ahead. Because the main goal for everybody, every young person, especially not even just in Canada, but for everywhere else, it's, it's to be able to save up enough for a down payment. To be able to save up, let's say, 20% of whatever the full price of a house is for your first home ownership to be able to pay that down payment so you can get a mortgage so that you're not just wasting fucking money every month, you know, paying to rent. You, you're actually building equity. You have an asset that's going to rise in value, right? It's, it's a good thing, but not everyone can just fucking do that. Most people in Vancouver, right? Dude, as soon as you graduate, the average salary, if you're lucky to get a fucking job after interviewing, you know, with so many, so many qualified candidates, you'd be lucky to make $50,000 a year. And that's Canadian dollars, bro. 50K in Canadian is probably closer to like 30 something, 40 something in USD. But with that money, it's still not enough to like actually save meaningful money. Because an average bedroom apartment is going to be like around $2,000 if you live by yourself. And, con and then consider other costs like utility, right? Like, like water, heat, food, right? Other expenses, right? You have to live so frugal and then you might have a couple hundred fucking dollars to save in like a tax-free savings account or put it into, you know, index funds, ETS to basically build that shit up. But uh, compare that person versus a guy that can live with their parents and save all that money, you get so much further ahead. And it's so sick and twisted and funny how... The American dream, this individualism, right? To get out of your house when you're 18, be a productive member of society. That's such a fucking scam. If I was a parent right now and I understood the, the current meta in the job market and the economy, there is no fucking way I'm sending my kid out. You're, you're literally just sending them to just get, you're just dropping them off to the fucking gulags, bro. Like, there is no shot a new grad of a college grad making average salary can save money and then have a meaningful, like, ownership. You're going to be a fucking cog in the wheel living paycheck to paycheck to prop up the fucking GDP of your nation. お金かかんないですけど、やっぱ一人暮らしとかするとしたら、やっぱ少ないなとは感じますね。300前半とかじゃないですかね。東京の一人暮らし。20k yeah. 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 seems to be the average salary, huh? 20k USD. It, like every so far, many different industries like IT, construction, I don't know what this guy is, real estate something. They all is just 20k. 10分だと思います。多いと思います。少ないと思いますか? Damn. And what's even more fucked up? Ramen in a decent place, somewhere else, can be $4 USD. In Tokyo, it's $10 USD. But in Canada, or like in actually America, that's just closer to 20 you know? It's so fucked up. <laughs> okay, this guy makes more money. But like this much money is honestly not that different. Like 20k to like 33k, like even like this is slightly more do dollars you're saving, but it's not a difference in fundamental lifestyle, you know? All the money that he fucking makes extra compared to the other three dudes gets wasted on buying drinks with clients because he's a salesman. 
は出さないそれは結構自分の They, The company better fucking pay for these dinners that you are forced to go on with clients to soothe them into buying your product If you have to pay out of your pocket bro and I, I think that Japan might make you do that Let's hear it ポケットマネーから出ることが多いんですかそういうのある程度は出してくれたら Some cost fuck you They pay for like the train fee to get to the restaurant for they pay Or maybe there's like a, like a cap per month of like how much you can spend on like dinners so that people don't abuse the system. Finding new clients is something you have to do outside of work hours, bro. Outside! That's fucking crazy! It's outside work hours so you can enjoy your life! Unpaid overtime, that's right, baby! Why? Put your fucking heart to the cause, soldier. You should be grateful that you even have a job at my company. You ungrateful asshole. You think you have free time? Free time outside of work should be used for more work. You don't love your company? You're not, you're not saying sasageyo? You're not going fucking tatakai? <laughs> Remember, it's a job. It's not a family. A family would never abuse you like this. Actually, there's some families that would do that. They definitely would do that. But... You are your own person, and a job is not your personality or your self of identity. One of the saddest things that I experience, and a lot of people too, is bro, everyone, whenever you go out and you start hanging out with new people you meet, these dudes can only talk about their jobs. Like, their entire fucking sense of being is just their job about how proud they are that they're climbing the corporate ladder. But deep inside, they're empty fucking ghouls trying to cope with their lack of fulfillment and their just senseless lives on a day to day basis to the point they need to fucking make it like, yes, I'm a manager, of, I'm a project manager at this Fortune 500 company. It's like, shut the fuck up. What do you want to actually do? What do you enjoy in life beyond collecting a fucking paycheck? You should be mad, but if he talks shit, here's a tricky thing though. If you talk shit and the company sees this, you're out of a job. So I'm not gonna expect everyone here to be able to just like shit talk their own companies. I definitely wouldn't. You have to be tactful on camera. What? I don't think the company should cover those costs. You actually believe this, bro? Employee of the month. Employee of the year. Yes, sir! My life for ire! Fucking Protoss Zealot, bro. I should be paying the company. My life for the shareholders. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> He should be paying the company to work for them, bro. No, the company should be reimbursing you for your time. It's all paid overtime. You're brainwashed. You don't even believe in this shit. Your friend is looking down. Your friend is on your side going, This boy's cooked. He's drank the Kool-Aid so once. Oh, fuck. This is so sad. I thought, like, he would give, like, not completely say the shit that I'm saying, but I thought he would say, like, something that be, like, a little half and half. Be like, yeah, it, it is kind of, you know, um, unrealistic to expect your employees to work outside their own, own hours and pay out of their own pockets to, you know, secure these clients. I feel like the company should reimburse something, but not to the certain degree where everyone can just abuse, you know, unlimited drinks or food or stuff like that. That's probably the direction that I might have gotten, but oh, dude, this is. I don't blame him because he's. If he's lying, I hope he's lying just for the camera so he keeps the job. I hope he's just lying, yeah. Ooh. This is the highest earner so far. This is definitely the highest earner so far. My man reaching up to that 40k USD now. We're about reaching new grad salaries for like Canada. 40k USD, that's about right. New grad jobs and like white collar office jobs, average ones. Yeah, that's about right. But this kind of money in Japan, that's quite a lot. 20k seems to be the average for a lot of people, right? 
now you're doubling that 40k you're gonna definitely have way more money to save to go out at this point i'm not exactly sure but there's a certain point where you stop thinking about like can i afford this to eat out tonight should i budget my money and buy you know cheap food there's a certain point where it just kind of like you don't have to think about that and it's definitely a it's more it's definitely more liberating when you don't have to like, worry about little things about oh shit if i go under budget if i go over budget i might be fucked for the month Fifty four is where you're capping out at your age, and I'm not even like saying, "Wow, what an L human being! You're so broke." But more like, "Damn, that's the compensation bands after you spent that much time in the company or just working." Like, if you look at him, he's definitely way older. He's got like 30, 40 years in the industry. But the market cap. Look at how much money they can make. Like. I was hoping at least he'd break into six-figure territory, but I guess in Japan, the market rates, like, it is dire. A little bit above average for compared to these dudes, yeah. But you need to retire. You probably have grandkids you need to fucking support, and kids and support, like, at your age, this is an unfair amount compared to the other dudes. That's it. That's the, that, that's, the, that's the turning point. When you break that 10 million yen threshold, the 67,000 USD, at that point, you no longer live in like, you don't longer have like roommates. You no longer have like, you know, live in like little, you know, shared townhouses. You get to live in like a fancy high rise condo. And guess what? You know what the saddest fucking thing is? And to a degree, I, 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 I definitely experienced this. Because when I was growing up, <clears throat> sorry, when I was growing up, whenever I go to the waterfront in my downtown, I, I used to see these condos so big. And I'm like, wow, really rich people must live there. One of these days, I want a condo for myself. Well, guess what? I live in a condo now and it's a pretty nice high rise, but it's like 500 to 600 square foot. It's a fucking shoebox you're fucking living in to rent out. It's not luxury. It's not something to be proud of. You're literally glorifying a lifestyle where you can only afford to live in a fucking shoebox. Bro, like, how are you going to raise a family in a one-bedroom apartment? And the 10 nil mark he's talking about? I hope it's not the fucking mark to just break the tent one bedroom. Because if you want to have a family, you can't just live in a one-bedroom apartment. You need, like, minimum two. More like three. It, it, it's just so sad how... Society has brainwashed you into thinking, wow, one of these days I too can live in a condo. What a sad, pathetic fucking goal. But that's the reality. And most people will never even get to this point. Most people will never even make it to this mark. Japan stuff is cheaper than Western stuff, though. It doesn't matter because everything right now we're talking about $67 USD. We're talking about scaling to Japan. Everything has a relative cost to them. But in their life, it's no different from the life here where there's like a turning point. When you hit around like 80K, 100K, that's kind of when you can make like enough to like sustain like an apartment. Like it's so fucking sad. あの、タワーマンでも住めるし、そのぐらいになるんだけども、今のこの日本の経済の中では、700、800万って中の上ぐらいじゃないかなとは思ってます。そうですね。まあ、1億ぐらいですね。We <笑> got Mr. Money Bags here. Okay, hold the fuck up. Let's do a little calculator. So far, if we assume every average person makes 20k, this guy makes 672. 672,000 divided by 20k. He is 33.6 average Japanese citizens in one. <laughs> 33.6 average citizens in one. But this value, he's probably a business owner, right? He probably has a business. Maybe he uh, creates content. Maybe he's a real estate developer. Maybe he operates a host bar. Who knows? That's 672. I wonder if that's actually revenue versus actual earnings. As in, you know, it took you like 500K to make that business in a, in a, to operate. And you made 672, meaning you only made 172 that year, right? And that value is going to be very volatile. It's not like a consistent thing. But what does this guy do? Hi. And I was gonna say Takeshi right over here. See what he did? 
Whoa! I thought that might have been humble because I'm like, Takashi is really rich too. Like Takashi, like, I mean, it's a 2.17 mil sub. Like he's all over TikTok. Like, he goes crazy creating content, but I don't think that much can still amount to 672,000 USD per year. Who knows? In my head canon, Takashi actually makes more money than this guy and is acting humble right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Tokyo is not that expensive. Oh, yeah. Since the guy that makes over half a mil a year, easy for you to say, brother. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. There's people that live here that are thinking, shit, do I go for the $4 ramen, you know, an hour away, or do I go for the 10 ramen dollar ramen here? You don't have to think about that, bro. You have such a distorted reality what life is. <laughs> ah, that's what happens to everybody when they get really rich, man. Not even really rich, even a lot of people when they get their first job, right? How many of you got your first job and your first paycheck and you're like, you've counted in your head how much money to make, right? You, you make like, I don't know, like, I don't know what a minimum wage job is right now. Like $10 per hour. You fucking multiply to the amount of hours that you've worked that month and you're excited to get that paycheck. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get this much money and taxes it. And you're like, what? What? Why is the government stealing money from me? Yeah. 55% though, huh? 55% assuming let's let's round that down, right? Let, let's like like let's let's say he made half a mil, right? Let's 500k a, a year, right? Just to make it a nice number and let's say 50% that goes to tax, right? 250k. How would you feel about that? Over half of your money is out. Yeah, I think I'd be pissed too. Yeah, of course he makes a lot of money. Of course he can afford nice things without having to worry. But still, you know, like get, get, getting 300K above, like if you're making 600 and getting like more than 300K just, just out of you, I feel pretty fucked up too. Excuse. Cap, 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 cap. So the question right now is, do you like your job? And look at him. Look at his face. Watch his face. We're going to analyze his body action, okay? No. No. In his head, he's coping. There's no fucking way. Now, maybe he's the business owner. Maybe he's making a lot of fucking money. But if he has to look up like this, like... Yes, I, I do love my job. Yes, my life for the company. Yes, but in the back of his mind, I doubt. Get this motherfucker drunk, bro. Get get a couple beers deep in. He's going to shit talk his company. Oh. Yeah, so he creates software uh, that companies use, maybe HR tools, different like invoice systems, payment, blah, blah, blah. He didn't fucking talk about that much money he's making. But um, either he's coping or he does truly enjoy his job. Sure. I have a sense of contributing to society. Is this guy for real? Or is he delusioned and coping that he's adding value to society and that's the only way that he can live life? I don't know what his job is. Let's see. What do you do? What do you do? What, what was this guy? Hold up. We're at 346 right now? What did this guy do? Uh, there's a bunch of different people that showed up in the first half, right? Do you guys remember what this guy did? Yeah. Who was this guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm 45 and I work in the manufacturing industry. Manufacturing is very broad. You could be manufacturing fucking anything. You could be manufacturing pencils. You could be manufacturing missiles. You're contributing to society. How? I would, I would have loved to kind of go more deeper into that topic. Alright. <laughs> I'm working on liking it more makes it sound like this guy fucking hates his job and he needs to basically delude himself into thinking it's not so bad to be able to deal with the cognitive dissonance in his head. <laughs> Duh. Uh, this is very true. 
not many people make money doing something they like, right? Of course. That's why people say, don't just go to like school for arts. Don't just go to like school for something that you like. You need to understand how practical it is. Make, being able to survive is more important than what your true passions are, which is sad, but this is the reality that we need to live in, right? Mm. That was a very enlightened and level-headed response of a guy that's saying yes and no, but like I understand reality. I need to know, you know, that I need to put myself, you know, to work on myself and try to figure out how I can kind of get there. True. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's kind of nice. Um, sometimes we're basically like um, when you have like a better boss, a better management, like you compare yourself to like other people. I remember like. I, my boss is pretty chill. My manager is really chill. I got paid pretty decently. But compared to some of the other people that I graduated with, they have to work in fucking sweatshops like black companies. And compared to them, I felt like I was getting the better end of the deal. Therefore, I was like, yeah, I, I feel like I do like my job. Cool. <laughs> Look at his red! Look at his red! It's the same guy that said I should pay out of my own pocket to secure clients, bro. Look at his friend! I told you the body language! Bro was looking down the entire time when this dude was saying my life for the corporations, right? Look at him! How many? Let's count. Let's count how many seconds it took him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. The ping, bro. The ping, the delay. The input delay. Let's count how many seconds. Ready? One, two, three. Almost three seconds. Almost three seconds plus, plus the fact that his friend answered first when asked the question. So let's add like an extra two seconds. He had to think in his head. For like, at least like five seconds, it's like... I don't want to get fired. Yes, I love my job. Mm. <laughs> Okay, here it is. This is his real feelings coming out. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say even if you don't like it? Okay. Even, let's per se, hypothetically, in an alternate dimension, that, and, and this is not my opinion. I love my company. I would never say these things about my company, but, but hypothetically speaking, even if you don't like it, you can still like it when you put in the effort. What the fuck does that mean? <sighs> I know what he means. This is the conclusion that people have to come to in order to rationalize in their heads about the shitty fucking life that they live in. And it's not their fault. Everyone has to go through this. It's fucking society. But it's just... Just sad, you know? To see a man so broken down to be able to cope to this fucking extent. Even if you don't like it, if you put the effort in, you will like it. What does that mean? Even if you don't... <laughs> Look at his friend! Dude, look at his friend! <laughs> Look at this guy face the entire time! Dude, look at the body, look at the face! <laughs> he just, he's just, he's just looking at the camera like, you hear this shit, bro? He's just looking down, he's like, oh, fuck. No, he's just, he just looking down, shaking his fucking head. He's like, are you really, bro? Are you really for real, bro? Brother, look at the look at it. This is so funny to me. Look, look, look. <laughs> That his friend is fucking cooked. Look, look. <laughs> the thousand yard test there into the camera, bro. He can't. He fucking can't warn his friend. Oh, well that's All right. All right. We're going to end it there for now. This is getting too much. This, 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 there's a lot of content too far. Now, we're, we're four minutes and 30 seconds in. We're four minutes and 30 seconds into the video. But this is recording session has been going for almost 30 minutes, so I'm gonna cut it out here. If this video performance does well, or if I wanna check it out again, we'll do a part two. See you next time!